do you want your sex life to go from drab to fab? Well, if you said drab, well, I, I wasn't expecting that. Hopefully you said fab. If so, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Becky. Welcome to Wellness in the Pelvis. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist and a mom, and I'm here to help you understand more about your body, especially when it comes to your pelvic health. Today, we're gonna to talk about one extra little thing that you can do with your sex life to make it a lot better. That's doing Kegels with intercourse. Duh. So let's shed some light on what's going on down there. Before we get into it, I do want to clarify that today's video is going to cover penetrative intercourse, whether that is a penis entering a vagina or an anus or a finger entering something that is penetrating one of the pelvic orifices. And so there's of course other tons of different ways to have intercourse, but that's what we're going to be talking about today. When you're having intercourse, whether it's penetrative or not, your pelvic floor is probably already working. And what happens is as you build towards orgasm, the pelvic floor muscles tense and tense and tense. They get tighter and tighter and tighter in a good way. And then with orgasm, there's this big release. The muscles drop all that tension and they relax. Blood comes rushing into the pelvic floor. You clean out all the lymph and all the old stuff that used to be in there. Tons of hormones get sent all over the body and all sorts of good things happen. So thanks to the pelvic floor and of course a whole bunch of other hormones and other things, intercourse, especially when it comes to orgasm, feels really good. So there's no actual need to engage your pelvic floor more during intercourse. However, I actually argue it's a really good time to exercise your pelvic floor. Engaging the pelvic floor improves blood flow and increases nerve sensitivity. It helps hormone response, all the things that help you get even more enjoyment out of intercourse. A stronger pelvic floor also may lead to stronger orgasms. And so that great big release gets even bigger and greater and feels even better. I do want to make an important note though. If you're having pain with penetrative intercourse, male or female, or however penetration is happening, please don't, don't do my following advice. Don't try to Kegel during intercourse. Your muscles may already be too tight. And so it would be best to talk to your doc or a pelvic floor PT to figure out what's going on before you then try to do even more during intercourse. So let's first answer this question. Can you Kegel during sex? Yes, of course. I wouldn't be making this video otherwise. Of course you can Kegel during intercourse. How do you do it? Just like every other time we've talked about Kegels. Watch some of my older videos to learn more about how to do a Kegel, but just envision trying to squeeze in the vaginal canal or trying to bulge, actually in this case, the penis. Some people actually find that engaging their pelvic floor is easier during penetrative intercourse because they have something around whatever you know, it is, if it's their vaginal canal or their rectum or their penis, there's something they're actually giving some feedback. And so with the canals, you can squeeze and you feel something that's a squeeze against. And then with the penis, you may feel pressure against the canal that you're inside, giving some feedback that way too. So for some people, it's actually easier to figure out how to use their muscles during intercourse. You may need to slow down a little bit, kind of tell your partner, hey, can you wait just a minute? My pelvic PT wanted me to try some Kegels. And they'll look at you kind of funny and say, why are you thinking about your pelvic PT right now? Please don't let me enter your bedroom in that way. That is not what I'm trying to do, okay? But it's worth experimenting with a little bit, you know, have some fun with it. So there's tons of ways you can do this. You can squeeze and hold for a long time. You can do quick flicks. You can send a message in Morse code. You can even try a gentle bearing down and then going up. So moving in different ways that way. You can try this in different positions. You can really get creative here. So if you're the one that didn't engage the pelvic floor, can you even tell? Heck yeah. That's like kind of the point of having intercourse to provide sensations for the other person. And of course, to feel good yourself too. 
But if we are talking about a cisgender relationship, so male to female vaginal and penile penetration, to the female, it feels like a warm bulging inside of the vaginal canal. And to the male partner, it can feel like a gentle but firm grasp around the penis, both of which feel pretty nice. When during intercourse should you do it? Whenever you want. You know, I said before, you could maybe tell your partner that you're going to try doing this if you wanted to experiment, but nothing wrong with a little surprise every now and then too. You can't necessarily do too many Kegels during intercourse, but if you start noticing that you're sore during intercourse or after, it may be worth backing off a little bit. Um, you know, it, it can become the point where you're starting to try to sprint a marathon. So your pelvic floor muscle is already working and then you're asking them to work more. And so if you're just noticing some soreness, it's okay. The muscles just worked really hard, good on them, but they may need a little bit of a break next time. What questions do you have? Is this the weirdest thing you've ever heard or have you been on the Kegel train during sex forever? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't worry about that like or subscribe thing. It's not really my thing either. I'm just here to help you understand more about your body. If that's something you're into, watch more videos. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time.